guys welcome back to the channel as usual i am your host Selassie if you and today we're going to talk a bit about the afcon draw uh, the friendlies that ghana and nigeria are going to take part in uh, ghana black stars taking on mexico on saturday nigeria tomorrow uh, they will square it off with saudi arabia in that friendly both countries now know their groups for the african cup of nations group a and group b uh, respectively uh, for nigeria and uh, ghana we'll talk about ghana's full fixtures nigeria's fixtures as well and uh, the reason why Captain Andre Ayu was not included in the Ghana Black Stars team that is currently in the United States preparing for that game versus Mexico and the USA. We'll look at all that today. But as usual, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell to get more updates. We'll jump right into it. And first start off from uh, the fixtures uh, for the Ghana Black Stars. African Cup of Nations draw was held earlier tonight. And uh, we now know which countries will be facing each other in the tournament, which kicks off on the 13th of January to the 11th of February in Ivory Coast, Abidjan, the capital of uh, the Ivorian nation. Uh, five cities, six stadiums will host these games, and uh, each group uh, will be placed in one stadium until the knockout phases it will be interesting to see how things go but nigeria uh, will take on uh, ivory coast the host in uh, one of their games it will be the final group game obviously uh, the first game is guinea bissau uh, taking on uh, ivory coast on the 13th of january after the opening ceremony it will be followed uh, by the nigerian super eagles uh, they will take on uh, group opponents uh, equatorial guinea uh, before taking on guinea bissau themselves and then taking on the hosts ivory coast for the ghana black stars the fixtures are a bit more detailed here the uh, 14th of january 2024 it will be a sunday at the start felix hope hot abijan ghana versus cape Verde. on the 18th of january 2024 a thursday start uh, felix uh, the same venue it will be egypt versus ghana quite an interesting fixture there it will be a great game an interesting one january 22nd 2024 will be start a pembe in abidjan mozambique versus ghana so the ghana black stars there will be taking on egypt in their second group game and those are the first full fixtures list that you could saw on your screen right now uh, detailed ghana will kick things off on the 14th of january uh, before 18th and then 22nd of january they round up the group well many of you are optimistic that ghana can make it out of their group uh, we hope we don't have a repeat of what happened in the last half con <laughs> quite a disappointing one there uh, but the black stars uh, know uh, that uh, they have a lot of work to do coach chris hilton will know the job at hand is not going to be easy. and talking about the job at hand uh, captain of the ghana black stars andrea Yu was removed from the team well excluded from the squad that traveled to the usa and henry asantichum the fa spokesperson has sought to explain why that was he said the black stars technical team dropped andrea Yu from their recent squad because the player is unattached now according to chum the Black Star skipper has been in series of meetings with clubs over a potential move. He said the technical team informed IU of, his, of their decision to exclude him, uh, which the player took in good faith. He's not someone you can easily do away with or you can easily replace. However, he has got the future to sort out. At the moment, he's, a, he's clubless. He's talking to clubs, he's having meetings with clubs and he travels a lot. So the technical team spoke to him to make him understand that they want to excuse him from these two international friendlies so that he can sort out his future. He took it in good faith and gave his blessing to the team as far as the two matches are concerned and the technical team also wished him well as he looks for a new team, he told Radio Gold Sports. He also noted that the skipper's omission does not mean he is done with the Black Stars, adding that Andre is still pivotal for the team. So there is no problem as if the door is shut on him. It's not as if the journey is over for him as far as the team is concerned. And Andre brings a lot to the team. He is 
useful part of the jigsaw. He brings experience to the table. He brings his leadership on and off the pitch. He provides loads of inspiration uh, to some of these young players in the squad. But for now, the coaches feel he should focus on his future, sort out his club issues, then he will be considered going forward. Coach Hutton named a 23-man squad for the games, but only 22 players could make it as four pulled out and he named three replacements for them. No replacement for Osman Bukhari as of yet. The Black Stars will face Mexico and then uh, move on to the United States uh, just three days later. So that is the reason why Andrea Ayew is not in the Ghana national team. He's sorting out his club future and they've given him permission to do just that. So Andrea Ayew is not in the team because of that. And uh, we wish him all the very best moving forward in terms of his club future he's talking to various clubs he needs to sort the clubless situation out and then moving forward he can be considered talking about friendlies tomorrow the nigerian super eagles will take on saudi arabia in portugal they will play that game as a preparatory game for the upcoming tournament the afcon itself in january and then uh, subsequently in the world cup qualifiers in november the nigerian super eagles are looking to kick hit the ground running and uh, uh, have a good preparation. They have one of the best uh, players in Africa, Victor Simen, who emerged as the highest goal scorer uh, for his nation in the AFCON qualifiers. They had their final training session uh, today, and uh, it was great to see all the players taking part in the rigorous activities. Tomorrow's game versus Saudi Arabia is expected to be an emphatic win for them hopefully they don't disappoint and uh, we have a similar score like as we did for south tome and principe we'll see how it goes on that front for nigeria but that is it there for the afcon tournament itself nigeria i in group a with the host ivory coast along with guinea bissau and equatorial guinea so uh, they will be optimistic their fans will be hopeful uh, that nigeria will get the job done we all know what happened in the last afcon nigeria blessed past everyone i think they were in the same group with guinea bissau nigeria and guinea bissau meet once again in the group stages they blitzed past everyone nine points went into the round of 16 and were beating by a stoic a solid resilient team in tunisia they lost one zero to them and that was the end of their story we went into the world cup qualifier playoffs with them and then uh, th we all know how that ended nigeria have a history of uh, promising and raising their hopes of fans up only to kill it now so most of their fans are cautiously optimistic but with this crop of players they have and uh, victor simen firing on all cylinders it's going to take a brave man to bet against Nigeria in the upcoming AFCON and in tomorrow's friendlies. But let me know your predictions in the comments box. Nigeria versus Saudi Arabia tomorrow will bring you highlights here on the channel. And uh, let me know how you think it went. So that has been it for today. The full fixtures for Nigeria and Ghana. Uh, also talking to you about why Andrea Yu was excluded. And uh, day three of training for the Ghana Black Stars as well. Brought you some pictures in there as well they train for the third time this evening i'll see you guys in the next one have a great weekend